In this video, I'm going to show you how I've added shelving and lighting to my converted piano workbench. A long time ago, I bought this piano, and when I got it home, I found out it was too old to be tuned. So I took out the guts and made a workbench. A while later, I did some inlay work and refinished it, and it served its purpose pretty well. I wanted to add shelves though, and was inspired by the tiny pigeonhole shelves in antique desks. I started out in Fusion 360 with a photograph head-on with the piano, and I drew out the uh, sort of the 2D outlines of how I wanted the shelves to look. And then I could extrude those into panels that I can laser cut out of plywood. And switching to perspective view, you can sort of get an idea what it is going to look like in the piano. I wanted to use some of the visual motifs that the piano had. So uh, there's these arches, and, uh, and I tried to use that for what will be the supports of the shelf. Now one big difficulty is that the piano still has the strings and the cast iron frame, and so the back of these shelves can't all be the same depth. So I had to pay quite a close attention to the contour inside the piano and cut out the shelves to fit around those. And I made lots of little brackets to attach this thing to the piano frame. And in the center shelf, I cut out spots for all my tools, uh, screwdrivers and pliers and things like that. And I left a spot for probably a screen uh, where I will have a Raspberry Pi computer. And then I cut it out of six millimeter Baltic birch plywood. And then I could attempt to dry fit it into the piano. This is going to be harder than I thought. I've discovered a few more parts of the piano that aren't square. Um, and I think I've made my tolerances just way too tight. Everything needs to be sanded off just a half a millimeter or so. So after the glue had dried, I wanted to take it out so I could go paint it somewhere uh, where I could make a mess. And I gave up on that and just tried to get it back into place. And so I just painted it right here. installed some little standoffs so I could mount the Raspberry Pi uh, onto the board and that'll go sort of behind the, the screen uh, in this section. And the Raspberry Pi board fits on with its two uh, mounting screw holes. And the cables go up from underneath uh, through a little notch in the back, uh, both power and Wi-Fi. And there's a spot for another strip of white LED lights under that shelf. 
and my makeshift bench supply with uh, 12, 5, and 3.3 rails from an ATX power supply. And I had this old-fashioned switch, and I thought it would be neat to wire it up to the power supply down below, uh, so that would control the lights and the soldering iron and everything on the bench.